and uh, we'll start with Michael Gibson. I'm going to nice. try and share my screen. Okay. Um, this is more of a cautionary tale. I made this teapot quite a few years ago, and as you can see, I uh, put the rust effect on it. But where I made a big mistake was I put a finish on the top, which I usually do with my other turnings of the finish I use on other turnings, which is more like a fixative. What happened, I had that absolutely perfect, but when I put the um, finish on, it completely just dulled it all. And although it looks half decent, it really did diminish that rust effect. I tried brushing it off with a wire brush, I tried recoating it, but it just made it worse. So uh, that's just a precautionary tale. If you use that rust effect, like uh, you must find out what's suitable for the finish afterwards. I think like Chromacraft now, who's come on big with all these different effects, they have their own finish to put on top of things like the rust effect. Just trying to help people if not get into a problem like I did. Just one response, Michael. This is Alan. Uh, to me, it almost feels like that enhances it. Uh, it really does look like an old cast iron teapot. But it looks even better before I put the finish on. Wait a minute. Help, me out, here. Help me out here. Is that an old cast iron teapot or is that a wood turning that you finished? I got confused there. That's a wood turning. <laughs> That's a wood turning. Hey, I'm blown away, Michael. Gee whiz, that's it good. I thought it was cast <laughs> I thought you were. I, thought I like you were, it that way. Yeah, I think it's I a, like it. it. Yeah. Really <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, you just have to believe me. It really did look great <laughs> when I, until I sprayed that finish on, and I thought, oh no. And I tried brushing it off with a wire brush, and uh, that didn't work. And then I tried putting another coat on, and it would not go on top of that finish so i gave up in the end and stuck it on the shelf i gave up because i'd have to take all the finish off on oh, the handle on that piece does swivel as well i don't see why you'd bother that looks great that piece it's a beautiful piece my, my, might i uh, might i highlight that this is a perfect case where we often see the uh the defects in our work that nobody else sees because uh -huh. i agree i agree with everybody else mike that michael but that is a beautiful piece and and, and even knowing that you could have, might, it might have looked better in your eyes, it still looks fantastic. So, well, thank you. I, I know you? every single piece I make, doesn't matter how good it turns out, I always know where that little floor is. And then when I make the next piece, I say to myself, you know, I'm not going to make that same mistake. I'm going to improve on it. And that just helps you evolve as well. Yes. How did you make the rust effect? Uh, I think I got the rust. Um, it's a combination. It's like a you put a coat of like metal stuff on. I mean, you can buy it. I think I got it from, um, it's such a long time ago, but I think I got it from Craft Suppliers. Now there's that company, Chroma, Chroma Craft, that Nick Agar's uh, involved with. And I think they're down here south of Atlanta, more towards Savannah Way. Yeah. Um, it's where they're based, but you just go Chroma Craft, um, and you, they've got hundreds of different effects. And you, then you mix a solution over the top, and it just changes it to rust. Very, very sweet. Wood shop. Thank God 